fellow Yora Homers. This will be the installation video for the new 3018 Pro drag chain upgrade. What you will get in the box is the drag chain assembly with clamps and a single M5 bolt and lock nut. Very, very, very easy to install this. Shouldn't take you very long, as you'll see in this video. First thing you're going to want to do, disconnect all of the wires uh, to your spindle and to your Z-axis stepper motor. You'll want to unroll your drag chain and you'll notice on one side there are small gates that open up. I can show you with this camera. So you will see there's these small gates that open. The side with the two tabs is the side that you want to open. Uh, what I find easiest is to take a tool like a small screwdriver or this in this case a ball driver and just kind of wedge it here near this edge and pop and you should be able to go right through and pop these all up. So I'll switch cameras so I can have both hands. but you're going to want to go through you can just see how quick this really is if you do it that method that i demonstrated i am doing this install on a, an upgraded 3018 with a larger bed it doesn't matter the install is the same now on this last one you have to come from underneath Pop it open. Um, yeah, I'm using this 3036, but um, the upgrade rides up here on the gantry, so it doesn't matter a 3018 or a 3036, it's the same install procedure. There are two parts to this. And this is the drag chain cl uh, clamp that goes around the stepper, and then this is an end piece that will go over the edge which I'll show you in a minute it is easier to put the wires in uh, with the with it disconnected that's why I'm doing this now so what you're gonna want to do is if you have a laser attach the laser wire also to the board and then you want your laser wire your stepper wire and then your um, two power leads for your um, spindle, you want to feed them through. I'll show you a close up here. Hang on, let me move this camera into view. All right. So you're going to want to take these wires, make sure they're free, and this is now the assembly. It's all opened up, it's upside down right now. You're going to feed them through this hole here. So I usually start with the stepper wire because that's actually the widest connector. So you're going to push that through. And then it really doesn't matter what you follow up with. I'll do the laser wire. And then both the spindle wires. Hole is really big, it's not difficult to thread these through, but you're going to want to pull them through all the way. And then start closing the gates on the wires so they're in the channel.
The gates should just close very easily. You just kind of push them and they kind of snap. You can kind of work your way down. You don't have to like get it all the way in the channel all at once. Just make sure if any gates kind of close underneath you, pull them out gently and As you can see, I'm getting near the end, so I'm just going to make sure they all come through the end here. All right. Switch to an overhead view. So once you have it where the wires come out the end and all those gates are closed, we're going to lay the drag chain assembly down on the top of the gantry, like that. Your stepper and your z-axis can be in any position. I have it kind of in the middle. I mean, you can kind of put it wherever you want. Um, doesn't really matter. Now, on the stepper bracket, you will notice there is a hole for the nut on the other side for the bolt. Um, the nut won't stay in without putting the bolt in. So um, these are those parts. So you can take those apart. This is going to use a four millimeter Allen. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to fold this over like so and we're going to it's going to need to go over the stepper. Now you have to be careful, really careful in the back here. There's the um, connector for the stepper wire. If for some reason yours wasn't assembled with the connector towards the back, you'll need to fix that. But these come pre-assembled, so it should already be pointed towards the back. Um, to do this, you are actually going to gently pry the bracket apart. You don't want to pull too hard. This will break. But you want to pull it apart enough where it's easily... I always slide it down over the plastic connector in the back first, and then very gently bring it down basically so it's in the center of the stepper motor. And you'll see there's little grooves that it kind of lines up with right in the middle. From here, you're gonna place your nut in this side and then your bolt in that side. This should hold the nut while you tighten it and you're gonna to wanna to tighten it until there's no play. You don't have to tighten like real, real hard. You don't want this to break, but basically, just tighten it down till the two these two pieces touch and then it should be solid. So I'm going to switch to an overhead view for this. So I'm just going to stick the nut in that little spot. In the back, the bolt. And then this is in a four millimeter Allen. You just want to tighten it till it's snug. There's not a lot of force on this. I mean, there might be a teeny bit of play, but there's almost no force on this. So just tighten it till these two connect. And that part's done. Next, you're going to want to disconnect the screw on the side. I will show you which one. So this is on the right side of the gantry, the rear one. You're going to want to unscrew that.
remove it and then this little bracket has a hole in it and you'll see there's a rectangular piece that sits in the rail so that should center it when it's in the rail and then you place this screw back in the hole where it was through that bracket and tighten it down um, just tighten until it's snug you don't have to like squish the plastic real hard just till it's snug okay that's it <laughs> uh, all that you have to do now is connect the wires and the trickiest one is going to be the stepper motor one this guy here because the bracket kind of goes right up against where it belongs so it's hard to do this with one hand try it this way but there is just enough room for this to go in I gotta put the camera down. I can't do this with one hand. But I showed you close up. The trick I find is to use like a finger on each side. And it'll just pop right in just like that. Okay. So I can switch back. Alright, so you see the wires in now. Now, <clears throat> there, if you notice on this bracket, there's a couple of interesting things. I designed this little pot set of pockets. There's a pocket here, and there's two pockets here. Now, the idea here is that you have your uh, laser power wire, and if you're not using the laser, just tuck that right in there. See, it'll fit perfect. And that'll keep it out of the way while your spindle is attached. Now, if you don't have enough wire, just gently pull through. You should have just enough to reach the motor, which I will demonstrate. Like I said, you can feed it through. All right, so if you're using your spindle, it will look like that. Now, if you want to switch to laser, you simply remove your spindle connectors. And this other little pocket, right here, there's two. And it's to store the spindle wires. So they'll just stick in there like that. One, two. All right. And then you can take your laser wire, which was stuck in there, and stick it on the back of your laser. So and that's basically it. Um, what will happen is as your as your gantry slides or as your carriage slides back and forth this drag chain will unroll there like that and then likewise when it goes the other way it will roll up <laughs> probably should have hooked it up to a computer <laughs> but you get the idea so yeah that's basically it like I said if the wires are tight it is, those, their wires are real, they are real close, I'm not going to lie. Um, 
you know you can try like the red wire right now the positives on this side so you know it might make sense to run this one under the steppers right it all depends on how you end up threading how these ended up when you threaded them through but as you can see like going that way gives me just that little bit of extra where it reaches um, and if you'll notice we are bottomed out here so that is the maximum travel it needs and then likewise your negative on this side goes down here so we are bottomed out actually most people don't use this full throw so we're at the very bottom so this is the max travel and that's why these wires are tight there is still some play back here I could probably get another half inch if I really needed it um, so you know if it's tight just gently pull it through but you'll notice the wires are completely and totally managed now um, you know you you can you can do something here like with a like a little zip tie or something if you really want to but the only wires that are kind of left out are the uh, the other the X and Y which come with the wire management anyway but this keeps all of the stuff going back and forth across the gantry nice and managed so anyways Feel free to ask any questions in the group or email support. But um, yeah, hope you enjoy your upgrade and um, have a good night.